Hi folks, the Filipina P here and a lot of you guys are wondering if I moved to the Philippines, where would I live? And as I've mentioned in my previous videos, the real estate market here in the Philippines is a total mess. But I know of one good real estate agent in the city. So today, we're gonna pay her a visit because she's gonna show us something good. Let's see what she's got for us today. All right, speak of the devil. Hello, Alma. Good Hi, morning. Hi, Good morning. All right, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Alma, one of the trusted real estate agents here in Dumaguete City. So everything that you need when it comes to renting, buying, she's the, she's the man. She's the woman. <laughs> All right, Alma, please introduce yourself to my viewers out there. Hi, viewers. Good morning. I am Alma Almontifolco. So I am a realtor here in Dumaguete City. So basically, all my clients are foreigners. Um, I do have a few Filipinos, but I'm more likely working a lot of foreigners as of the time. Okay. So how long have you been doing this job? I've been working for my job five, five years now. Five years. Yes, five and you're still years. loving it. I, I enjoy it so much, and I I learned a lot of it, and okay. um, I meet a lot of people like you. Okay. I'm so honored. Thank you very much for the opportunity. So much. Thank you very much. Oh, the pleasure is all mine, <laughs> Alma. I just want to show you this tree because this is one of um, the fruits that I love here in the Philippines. This is called rambutan. It turns red when it's sweet. yeah, it, it's actually sweet. To, uh, as of the moment, this is still unripe. It's still green and it's hairy. Reminds me of something <laughs> nice. <laughs> something <laughs> nice. <laughs> something nice and sweet. It's hairy, yeah. Yes. Okay, so this is Rambutan and it's here in the in the property. So if you are if you love fruit, then you have your own supply of Rambutan. I see that we have a house to tour today, right? Yes, we okay. have and um, it's a 500 square meter lot area of the house. Okay. And it has a 200 square meter floor area. All right. Lead the way. Sure. Okay. Come, follow us. <laughs> Supi, this is the house here. So we have an open space here. People, are, um, if you have a guest, um, if you wanted to have a party, you can put a table here. Right? Yeah. So it's a very nice open space. You can just put a table. We don't have a table right now, but okay. the owner might, or a renter. So, oh. This place also is for sale, but as for now, this is also for rent for six months and then you can renew another six months fee. Okay, so this is the house and basically this is the living room and then the telly there. Okay. Oh, you got to see this painting. I don't that's know. Nice. I don't really like orangey stuff, but that's kind of cool. That's kind of neat up there. Okay. So yeah, this is your receiving receiving area. So this couch just purchased by the owner and the TV is new actually. And um, the first room that we're going in P is the master bedroom. Come, come. Okay, please come. All right, so this is the master bedroom here. We have, um, this is included to the rent and also to the sale. Okay. This it's... bed frame is from Mandawi Foam. Okay. So the owner bought it from Mandawi Foam. And uh -huh. then this one, the bed, uh, they made it from their from uh, uh, local, so they have a strong bed frame here. Oh, I like strong, strong yeah. bed frames. <laughs> <laughs> so it's okay, very this, strong. You know. This is very solid, guys. Uh -huh, okay. You know. Okay, so we've got a window here, sliding window. Yeah, so you can see the swimming pool from out here. And oh then yes, it's very nice. It's airy, so you can just open it up. Yes, here guys. Is, this house comes with a pool and later on we're going to show that to you. So uh, this is a built-in closet, Alma? Yes, and um, you can just have to push it so you can open. So this is like two doors. So okay. here you can put your clothes hanging if you want. Okay? And then you have to close this again like that. And then you have to open this. Chuck. Okay. Okay, so you have all the storage here. This way is the bathroom. Yeah, this is the master bath and okay. then there's a hot and cold shower. So I'll oh. show you most likely all foreigners, even myself. I like to have hot and cold because I don't want it to shower with very cold water. water? Yeah, okay. So this is it. And then also 
foreigners tend to have a very strong water pressure because they don't want it to shower it out um, strong water pressure. It's like drip, drip, yep, drip, 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 drip. It yeah. happens in many places. Okay. So this place has a strong water pressure here. Um, this is connected in a city water. Yeah, so see, it's strong. Mm -hmm. And then foreigners or our clients wanted to shower, they have strong water. So like a shower, shower, shower. <laughs> yep, yep. Okay, and also... Yeah, so this one also here are very important to foreigners because mm -hmm. you have this cold um, uh, thing to stop the water if you shower. So mm -hmm. if, if you're showering here and then somebody went or your wife came here to um, do something. To, <laughs> to her, do number one. Yeah, <laughs> very important. Her yeah. feet is not going to be wet and then just came off to the bed, you know? Okay. Yeah, so this is important here. That's called... Um, this is like a unique feature in Filipino homes, by the way, guys, is this faucet. Yeah. I know in the West, they usually don't have that. Here in the For Philippines, sure. we have that in case this, uh, you know, it malfunctions, but you have to dump the water there. Mm -hmm. That's why we always have a faucet in the shower room which is really bizarre for westerners because like why do you use that if you already have that but you know you never know in case of emergencies you can use that with the table with the table you don't know what the table means yes okay. okay so yeah this is pl plenty uh yeah it's ample yeah okay. so now we are going to bring you to the next bedrooms then we have four bedrooms here with three um, bathrooms in this house. So prior than that, I will show you the most important thing that foreigner wanted to have in this master bedroom. That is the um, split type aircon. So we have <laughs> so, a yeah. split type aircon yeah, here. This, this. So the split type aircon is just over here. It's very new. That is um, like one year old, never been used. So that's very important to foreigners. They wanted to have a cool master bedroom all the time isn't it correct p yes because they will melt yeah they so. will melt in our it's it's humid here actually it's quite cloudy today and alma and i are literally sweating, sweating. like a pig although but pigs. they smell good yeah, yeah pigs don't sweat though i mean don't don't they have like pores or something oh wait 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 before we get out look at this look at this painting <sighs> I like that booty, baby. <laughs> booty, booty. <laughs> I like, I like the, I like the painting. Okay, so before we get to the second bedroom, there's a breakfast bar here, yeah, which is here. a love. I like this shade of gray. Oh, there's tons of Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like that movie, very nice. Yes, okay. unless this countertop too is considered as like, if you got guests, they can eat here, they can drink, they can have, um, you know, wine mm -hmm. here in this uh, countertop. So the owner decided to put like this, they can have put wine and they have guests, they do not need to uh, interfere yourself here in the sala. So they just sit down here, people can sit down here, do like our stuff, chair like that. Okay. okay, please give me some beer or some... Um, you know, very expensive wine. So okay. we have, or we can do our mm, breakfast. Here's here your Monet, that. madam. All right, champagne. Thank you very much. Champagne. So. Okay, so this is like a bar, a breakfast bar. Yes, it's considered as everything. So okay, this is very nice. Also, but basically, this house is nice. They put because there are other houses that they don't put like this. I know. I put one of these at my mom's house. Actually, so nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. So this she is also, loves it. This can be also used as a chopping board. Also, there's there's this uh, fine dining experience that a person would lay down here and then you oh, put yeah. sushi or you know <laughs> plants there. That okay, I'll pick this one. Up. Oh, many foreigners would like to see yeah. that. It's not pay per view, pay per <laughs> per pick. We that's just cool, hire a model here. It will not be us and her. No, because that's. Although, so P, here also we have this thing for the washing. This is more important, very important for Filipina like us because we tend to wash our plates here. Yeah, we so don't we, have a dishwasher though. Yeah, we don't. So what is this? Is it, is it like um, sterilizer? I don't know. It looks like electric to me. Gas range, mm -hmm. uh, hood, and cook stove, cooktop. Okay. Okay, that is okay. gas, so okay, gas. we have the gas outside. Yeah, electric is not that common here in the Philippines because electricity is quite expensive, expensive and, and the brown out. Oh my god. Yeah, the so brown outs. So very important that we have gas because if we brown out, we could not cook. And yes, B, we have also very nice um, cabinets. So you can show us cabinets to them? Yeah, the good thing about this, uh, these cabinets, 
they're actually reachable for a Filipina. Correct. Even even I'm only like five five or something, I can I can reach out maybe just you know bend a little bit up you know to the top because most of most of the houses here sometimes they have like higher yes. higher cabinets. It's like there's no ladder maybe for foreigners who are six, six foot tall. Feet, yes. Oh yeah, but at least this one I can I can reach and maybe just a little bit of I know help reaching something up there. Okay. What well, is there's plenty of uh, space, space. And cabinet. So, so second bedroom. Okay, so we're done with the kitchen. So I'm gonna be showcasing you the second bedroom of this house. Okay. Come on, P, I'm gonna let's go inside in this uh, room here. Okay. So this bedroom comes with um, bed with uh, this stuff here. So yeah, there can be kids can sleep here or, or your sister or your parents can sleep here. Okay. And then they are not gonna be also hot. It's because we have also the um, split type aircon, which is uh, just a year old. Okay. And um, for clothes with, because we Filipina, right P, we tend to have lots of clothes. So we have also cabinets here. The same with the master bedroom. Bedroom. Okay. We have this cabinet. This is the bathroom. Okay. So yeah. So this is the catch, guys. So P will gonna show it to you. So I'm gonna wait for you outside. I'm sorry for you know picking something. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> guys, this is the door, and this is the toilet. This is the toilet. Where's P? Oh, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, P. I'm very sorry. What happened to you here? <laughs> what happened? I'm sorry about that one. Oh my God. Again, this is like. Plenty of space and as Alma mentioned, hot and cold shower. Yes, very important that you have a hot and cold shower pee because you don't want it to be cold. As you yeah. Cold. See, I mean like one, two, three, four, even five can family see. members can maybe take a shower all at the same time if they're in a hurry. That'd be a nice show. So yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so, so this is the third, the third and fourth, fourth bedroom. Bed is be with, there's a shared bathroom with okay hot and cold so i'll be showing you this bedroom this is a little bit bigger than the second one okay so you have um at, as, as, uh, the same thing we have a queen size bedroom with a square type aircon here so your family if you get family guests or kids oh yeah our kids here, yeah yes Oh, now this one, you can put a side table in here. Yes, because this is a little bit bigger than the second one. So okay. now you can have, or push it there, put here another bed if you want. Yes, yes. yes. So. Okay. But it's so nice. You know, all the stuff are from Mandawi foam. So they have good stuff there. And then the foam is very nice. You will be enjoying. So and, yeah. Them, right? It's yeah, so it's soft. It's so soft. And um, also the paint, we have to recognize that there are a few houses that their paints is different. So this, the paint of white is very nice. It will make person or people not feel so hot. Yes, and also it makes the place a lot bigger and yeah. wider. I like it that way because a lot of Filipino houses here, they have different paint jobs in different mm. rooms. It's like, it's, it looks like Mardi Gras or something. I, I don't know, I mean, I see blue and green and yellow Pink rooms. sometimes. Like, Pink. Yeah, so if you got 10 kids here, you can put five here and then five in the other. Oh and my then you gosh. have this cute tiny cabinet for the cats, for the babies. Look yeah. at that. Okay. So all the bedrooms have, cabin have cabinets. All right, so this is the third, uh, fourth bedroom here. Okay, um, the fourth. Oh wait, before we go to the fourth, this is the shared bathroom, yes. guys. Yes. <clears throat> so with hot and cold shower again. Yes. So now we're going to bring you in the fourth bedroom. That can be the office of P if she will take the house. Ah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. sure. <laughs> so P, this is a third bedroom that can be considered sometimes uh, in a big house like this. Um, a, a maid's quarter like that. Okay. They have no beds here, so that might tend to be their uh, plan to put he the, here the maid's quarter okay. and all or if no maids you can also make this an office so that will be the different ways of houses or can be a storage also for yes. this room yeah yeah so, yeah for someone who's like you know live selling or yes. a, you know a youtuber you can have this as a small studio i guess uh this is where you're gonna do your editing and stuff and you know just a big window and by the way guys this place is fully fenced right yes it's fully, fully fenced. fenced and then also the neighborhoods are nice people here around yeah and then um 
well this is also has come with this aircon this is just not being placed here all right so this is the fourth bedroom and let's go out and show you the nice part of the entire property so p i'll be pushing you so she's very okay. hot as of the time okay now let's go darling now i'm ready to jump in because i'm so 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 hot all right so welcome to the highlight of this house this is where you can do your tanning, tanning. oh my god so hot welcome right to now. the pool and so this is yes approximately the size of the pool is about 18 by 10 feet yes approximately and, and the dip is four by yes i think six okay four feet and then six feet okay so if you're a short filipina then you can just dip here or you can yeah. just sit here and then do the table. And if I you actually don't know love how to it. swim, you just sit down here where we setting down because we don't know how to swim. Yes. So we'll just be staying here. But basically, the entire piece of this house, the masterpiece of the house, are not the bedroom, but of course the swimming pool that people tend or visitors or I myself wanted to stay here and get tanning. Yes, and you can do barbecue out here. There's yes. plenty of space. Uh, let's talk about numbers here. So if you're if someone wants to rent uh, this place, how much will it be? Yes, yeah, so the owner told me that she's renting this property for 50,000 pesos okay. and then for selling P, this is 10 million pesos including all the furniture inside and... Um, including you? Oh. As a freebie? Uh, <laughs> Alright guys, so that is the price and I guess you can negotiate with, uh, with the owner through yeah. Alma. If you're going to be renting, a uh, minimum lease of uh, uh, six minute, months? Yeah, six months. And um, if you are, if you like the place, and then you can renew for another six months. And then it's one month advance and then two months deposit when you moved in. You can also reserve this property if you wanted to. So you can just see her video and then you can contact me. And then we can reserve the property. Oh yes, and I'll be want. including all Alma's Thank you, P. information in the description box, guys. In the description box and I'll put it in the pinned comment as well because they always say, hey can I get her number can I get her number it's like okay emails like that yes if you have any questions further inquiries and whatnot just hassle this lady charat <laughs> hassle no you can contact Alma any time of the day any time of the day any time of the day okay. even I'm sleeping I can I can reply <laughs> in two hours after I wake up I don't sleep joke yeah <laughs> ang babae mo lang pahinga I don't sleep <laughs> okay so she's also a hard worker you know yeah. a hard working woman always on the go anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this uh, segment and i'll be back in just three more days with something new for you to consider so bye thank you for watching if you think about it i'm kind of like your own personal genie every week I fulfill two of your wishes when I bring you magical content about life and culture in the Philippines and explain the differences between East and West. If you appreciate my efforts, all I ask is that you hit the thumbs up button on this video, subscribe to my channel, and tap the notification bell so you can see what I've conjured up next. And if you're really feeling like a generous master, feel free to share this video with friends and visit my Patreon page as well. And now, for that third wish, you have only to ask, and it's my pleasure to make it come true. Uh, what did you wish for? Master. I don't think I can do that, and Mrs. Master would not be happy about it.